Hey folks, I'm Milo Tash. We're gonna have some food today. Ah, for food's sake. Can you hold on a second? I gotta take a call on my cell phone. Foon. 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 All right, what the heck is a foon? I had never heard this word until I started researching the wild world of everyday camp cutlery or camping and backpacking food utensils. Uh, nearly everyone's heard of a spork, but never a foon. So here we are today talking about a very unique piece of equipment from a brand close to my heart, and that is the Snow Peak Titanium Foon. We'll also be comparing it to its sibling, the Snow Peak Titanium Spork. Let's get into it. This is the fabled foon. This oddball is from Snow Peak, which is a Japanese brand that has been making outdoor gear specializing titanium products since the 1960s. Over my time obsessively researching gear, I've found a number of pieces from Snow Peak making it into my everyday carry rotation. Snow Peak's attention to detail, simplicity, and quality emanates from each and every single one of their product designs, and their methodology closely aligns with my own when using gear to strengthen an individual's outdoor experience. The foon here is simplicity at its finest. Like the flip side of a spork, the foon is meant to hold more of the dominant traits of a fork while balancing some trace elements of a spoon. Signatures of Snow Peak's craftsmanship, the foon shows signs of being individually ground and has a beautiful matte finish. The front side has four prongs, similar to a spork, but the prongs go deeper into the belly of the utensil running just shy of an inch at its longest prong. The prongs themselves are rather blunt and start at one centimeter in girth. There's a deep well at the belly of the foon, which is intended to hold a mouthful of broth or liquid. Snow Peak describes this as a hybrid design that allows you to eat noodles, rice, or soup all at once. The foon weighs 0.56 ounces, or 16 grams, and that means it's so light you're going to forget it's packed with you. But unlike an ultralight plastic utensil, this puppy is impervious to heat and won't break unless you're really, really trying to do so. The backside has a measuring system ground into it with the notation of W and R on it. I'll admit, I had to Google this one for a good five minutes after trying to figure out what that meant and comparing it to the American Standard units and finally giving up. Snow Peak's website doesn't list the meaning in their description of the foon, but I did find it in the answered question section on their website, and apparently it's intended as a rice measurement scale for water to rice ratio. Neat. The foon retails at $14.95 on Snow Peak's website and has 4.7 stars with only 18 reviews. But those 18 folks seem really, really happy. There was a review from Eric N., who just got me with, for those who just can't, and goes on to say, for those who just can't be regular, needed this, lol. Hey, would you take a quick moment and hit that like button down below and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff? It actually does help me and the channel out. Uh, it tells YouTube that what you're watching is worth their time and attention, and that all goes towards me being able to make more of this for you. So thanks in advance. Let's get back to it. Okay, now let's take a quick look at the Foon sibling, the Snow Peak Spork. This currently retails on Snow Peak's website for $9.95 USD or a few more bucks on Amazon, and it comes in a variety of colors. I have it here in the original anodized titanium colorway, but you can get it in tints like blue, purple, and green. It weighs 16 grams or 0.6 ounces, and let's be real, it's beautiful just like all Snow Peak products. This was actually my first introduction to Snow Peak. Let's talk similarities between the two hybrid utensils. Number one, they're both titanium. That means they come along with all the stunning perks of the material. They're light, ridiculously strong, and surely bomb-proof. Two, from tip to tip, they're damn near the same length and width in handle. Three, they both have a little lanyard hole at the butt end of the handle. I have never used this, and I truly don't ever see myself hanging these on a carabiner to the outside of my pack, but you all know how I feel about dangly things. Nevertheless, the option is there for you carabiner heads. Four, the girth of the prong tips are nearly the same at the point, roughly a centimeter wide. Five, they both say Snow Peak on the front and Titanium Japan on the backside. But to the heart of the matter, which one should you get? We can start with pricing. If you're getting anything from Snow Peak, you're gonna be paying out of the wazoo for it. The very idea that I spent $15 on one piece of cutlery is bananas, I know. But you get what you pay for, and this is the type of cutlery that will long outlive you and can be buried with you in your sarcophagus and be discovered by distant future humans who wonder what the heck we did with this thing, similarly to how I feel about it right now. But all that aside, the spork is significantly less expensive. If you can only afford one, go with the spork. 
If colors make a difference to you, the spork is the only one with options. So if you care to have your mouth shovel match the drapes, get the spork. You can customize it to your EDC. If you're going to eat rice and want a built-in measurer, go with the Foon. You have it built in right on the backside where the spork does not. You can always add your own post-purchase, but who has the time? Lastly, what are you eating? This is the point in the video where you got to take some time for self-reflection. What are you planning on eating with this utensil? Is it primarily broth with a little bit of solid substance, or is it mostly veggies, meat, grains with a little bit of sauciness or juices that you don't want to miss out on? I can see myself using the food for potatoes and gravy or hearty beef stew where I need to get a good purchase on something food-wise and then use the bowl of the food to scoop up the remaining liquids. The spork, on the other hand, has a better belly on it, so I could use it for soups with little chunks in it. The main difference here is the length of the prongs. The prongs on the food are also flat across the top and would make all contact at the same time uh, with the food object versus the spork, which only has two prongs that will make contact until further inserted. If you've seen my other video on the best EDC cutlery that a person can get, you know that I'm partial to the Snow Peak Titanium Spoon and Fork set. Keywords set, where you get a separate spoon and a separate fork. Years later, I'm still using this set every day for my day job and when going outdoors for adventures. That being said, before getting the spoon and fork set, I originally went with the Snow Peak Spork, leaning heavily into the motto of simplicity is bliss, and having one less thing to tote around would be nice if I could combine all my cutlery needs into one thing. The spork made sense for a time, especially when I had the concept of ultralight backpacking floating around in my head. Now I want ease of use without waste, and there's this saying that sticks with me. There's a difference between getting the job done and getting the job done well. For me, the spork or the foon will get your job done, and this is as close as a person can get to getting the job done with grace while still trying to be a three-in-one shampoo. There are things that I strongly dislike about both the spork and the foon. I dislike the width of the utensils themselves. They grab too much food for me, like a shovel in one bite, and their prongs are so blunted that they don't get a good grip on the food they're trying to pick up, and liquids spill through the prong gaps. But that comes with the territory of something that is trying to do all in one. For me, the answer was getting a spoon that had a nice deep belly on it that could hold a hearty scoop of broth and a separate fork that was delicate in size, yet Hulk-like in strength. Utensils in America feel like they have turned into pitchforks. The titanium set feels like they were made smaller and built for accuracy. I wanted something that took all the amazing qualities that Snow Peak embodies in their gear and let their individual fork and spoon do their individual jobs well. But everyone operates differently. It's very likely that you have different size hands or mouth than me, um, or need something to eat your lunch with that takes up the least amount of space on your person. Any of these are going to be fantastic choices for you. And no, Snow Peak did not sponsor this video. I just dig gear that's done right, and I appreciate Snow Peak being a larger outdoor gear company trying something a little different with the foon, even if it is a little foony looking. I wanted to do this video to show how the Foon handles because sometimes it's a niche little piece of gear that you've been looking for to solve your gear problem that you didn't know existed. And though someone should truly make me a t-shirt that says to heck with sporks, or Foons now for that matter, I can still appreciate that this might solve someone else's gear problem. As always, I'm Milo Tash. Thanks for watching.